Welcome back guys. This episode we're going to go to Ohio. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. And we're just leaving uh, our little hotel in the outskirts of Puerto Real. And now we're going to head into Portugal. But first we need to ride back up to Sevilla. A 300 kilometer run today. Mostly before on heading Italy's west way. to the frontier. So let's get We're going to take the E5 or the AP4. It's a dual carriageway. It's not a motorway and it's free. After being refilled by a charming little Spanish girl, gonna hit the road and head towards Portugal. Got to find my navigator first. Well, issues. navigator always needs a little bit of a step up to get onto the bike. Well, if you can see that down there, we've just reached 3,000 kilometres into this road trip. Um, we've took a bit of shade uh, here the old cactus plants had a drink of water stretched our legs a little and now we're about 50 kilometers to get into uh, Portugal where the twist is start I hope because it's been a bit boring the roads in uh, Spain so I'm gonna go and pick up navigator she's found a little place to stand she needs a hop up. Hold it, there she is under the, the fig trees. The chopper suitcases are full up, or else we would have been collecting figs for homemade go. jam. Now this is the uh, large bridge, I think, that takes us into Portugal. Crosses the border, the river. The Rio Guadiana, if I said it right. Right, guys, if you uh, enter into Portugal, Tourist. tourists and motorbikes Motor to the right, Eduardo. and then we had our own little lane Motor where you, you go up to the machine, takes a picture of your number plate. You put in your credit card details and if you use any of their motorways with toll charges then it automatically yes, takes it from your credit card ah, but using the TomTom -tom, I didn't use one motorway or toll road anywhere in Spain or Portugal so TomTom -tom's useful for that so a bit confused this is the first time we've ever used one of these machines and I didn't realize I had to go up to the little white line in front of me but anyway we got there and we done it easy toll and now we're safe to ride anywhere in Portugal now <laughs> this is where my dear old Tom Tom got me lost again and it sent us into the town centre looking for our hotel or our room for the night which was on the outside of the town <laughs> oh so I've God. left this in so you can see that uh, even seasoned travellers get lost with <laughs> by using GPS systems to the right no we can't so I'm saying to navigate do I go straight on do I go left where do I go Hello. Should I do what? Go. So let's go straight on. See where it takes us. <laughs> Hello. You turn at what do you see? Ah, bon, la. Uh, GPS has sent us to the seaside, right on the waterfront. Oh, no, right. <laughs> Je vais arrêter. Je vais les faire. We're not in a town at all. What we're looking, looking for. Too. So we've been going round and round in circles for about 20 minutes and the GPS had lost oh. its signals. 
took me ages to reprogram it and eventually it led us up here. Some of the road works, well it wasn't difficult. Just didn't want any stones throwing up hitting the radiator. Although the radiator's got a protection on it. And of course by this time I think our nerves were getting a little bit frayed. There. I've our just seen villas. the signpost to our the villa. Panel. There it is. So panel, we're on the right villa. track. La. Holiday Villa Resort. Now it takes us out into the countryside. Now I'm wondering, <laughs> has it gone wrong again? But we eventually found it. Our Villa La Reception. Our Villas. Well, we've just done uh, 300 kilometres coming up from uh, where were we last night, Cadiz, and now we're nearly at Faro in Portugal. We've got into Portugal. This is our first hotel room in Portugal. Our villas here, oh, oh, hello, well, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, we're there. So we've got all our junk laid out. There's no restaurant, we're in the middle of nowhere, so we've got our snacks for tonight. Uh, couple of lovely big beds, place to hang all your stuff, stuck all your gear, we've even got a terrace, boots are getting some fresh air, and uh, there's a nice pretty blue villa, we've got a terrace, we'll have an evening dinner here tonight I'm sure, and there we go, we're in the Algarve guys, so now I want to take you downstairs, because this has got a swimming pool, and we're going to go and crash out by the swimming pool and try and get a bit of suntan on these lily white bodies. <laughs> Catch you soon. Thank you. Who's playing? Nadal? No, yesterday, wasn't it? Okay. Cat, cat, We had the place all to ourselves. Looks like the garden's been busy. He's cut the lawn for us. Well, what I did not show on here was the amount of dog poo all over this artificial yeah, lawn. It's disgusting. It's warmer than the Arctic Ocean in Norway. Oh, it's a pomala. That's all right, that's not cold. So I think there's going to be a little bit of a, a body dip. Well, thanks for watching this episode, now, guys, and uh, enjoy your trip. Ride your dream. <laughs> <laughs>